Well, here we are at Sebring, and you know, uh, I'm Dan Johnson talking with Doc Bailey about an engine that doesn't sound like the other engines out here. What are we looking at, Doc? Hey, this is the new D-Motor engine. Uh, it's what? something we feel is going to really help the light sport industry. There's alternative engines out there, and we really like this one. Uh, some of the benefits of the engine is it's, it's a direct drive engine, much like the Lycoming. So you get a lot of that torque. There's not a gear reduction or anything like that. Uh, it's horizontal pose, gasoline. But the bottom line is this thing has really got the flathead technology. So they took the old, it only has 35 moving parts. Well, so now you put new technology with fuel injection, electronic ignition, Nicosil treated cylinders, water cooled cylinders and heads. And the magnificent, and the part I can't believe, but it's true. The engine is 95 horsepower, but only weighs 124 pounds. Is that right? Wow. So we have a really low weight engine, high horsepower to, to a weight ratio, but the torque is the thing. This thing's got 250 newton meters of torque, and uh, the torque range is 2300 to the red line, which is very low, 3000 RPM. Yeah. And, and who's creating this engine? Well, this engine was made by a bunch of Formula One race car drivers, specifically for aircraft in Belgium, and the D-Motor Company is what they're called, and we're the exclusive distributor for all North America, but we really like the idea of this aircraft engine, dual redundant electronic ignition, uh, everything that you wanted in an engine and thought about, ease of access to change the oil, they asked us about this thing, it's been in, in uh, production now about seven years, Okay. this is the 95 horsepower version, we waited for this version to come out so it would be equal to other aircraft and horsepower. It is 43 pounds lighter than our competition, uh, but the torque thing is it's what's really... It's a very significant weight uh, decrease, but with a torque increase. Right. But you've got an even bigger engine, a version of this engine, I should say. Now, we all in America like power. We do like you know, our power. Rah, 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 little Tim the Tool Man Taylor. So step into my office over here. <laughs> all right, let's and have a look. I'll show you how this is. cylinder model. This doesn't look physically a lot larger, but I can see there's a little more uh, depth here. So what are we looking at it now, Doc? This has one more set of cylinders on each side. So that so was a four cylinder, the, yep. the uh, 95 horse right. uh, engine that weighs so little. This is a six cylinder. Right. Okay. This is a six cylinder engine, just as big brother. Uh, the nice thing about this one is it's 174 pounds. A flyable weight. That's Compared everything. to the other one, let's review. Uh, the other one was 124 pounds. 124, now 174 pounds. 174 okay. pounds. So we got a little more weight to her, but we also got a lot more horsepower. How much? 135. 135 horsepower. horsepower. Right to the shaft. You get the starter on the front side or the back side. It uses to fit the different cowlings and so yeah. forth. Because well, yeah, you're not just going to have this on this one airplane here, the VOT. This, this, this you're going to offer this for other aircraft? We have Sonics looking at it already. We have a lot of aircraft. A, both light sport will finish the ATM, ASTM uh, certification on it real soon. Uh, so we're going to have it's open to anybody. Great. You uh, took one question out of my mouth. Is the air, the engine is not currently ASTM approved, which it has to be to go on a right. special light sport, a right. fully manufactured right. light sport aircraft. But you're working on that now. Oh yeah, we're we're very close to finalizing that. Okay, great. So we're going through. I'm on the committee, so I knew what we had to do to get it done. So we jock rocketed it, used four engines and. We did everything by the book, videotaped the whole nine yards, so there's no question. Okay, great. So uh, it uses a Jabiru engine mount. Oh, does it? Which okay. most manufacturers have that already, so it just basically bolts on. It's the exact dimension of a Jabiru 33. So it's another alternative. They don't have to change cowlings. They don't have to change engine mounts. It's ready to go. Now, what they may have to do a little bit is the CG because it is lighter. Yes, right. It's 174 pounds and 135 horsepower, but it's still the same. expect it to be a big impact on light sports. That's great. More engine choices are always good for people, good for manufacturers too. Yeah. They may take a little longer to get acclimated to that and how they have to change their airplanes, but more choices are good. And 135 horsepower, that's going to be a good number. We've got some uh, growing aircraft, some seaplanes, for example. Probably could use some extra. Funny you should say that, that the Sea Dragon, uh, John Brown and I, uh, we've just signed an exclusive deal with them to give them the six-cylinder and fifth version of this right out of the gate first. Okay, cool. So John Brown is uh, well known to be going after Icon and throwing down the gauntlet. 
and uh, we think uh, they'll be able to take off in the water with this in a seaplane pusher configuration in about 300 feet. Is that right? Well, we'll be watching more for information about the D motor represented in America by Renegade Light Sport, and we can find more information about this engine and your other products where, Doc? Well, there's a website specific for this, okay. dmotorusa.com, or on our website, renegadelightsport.com. And this will probably be the engine we choose to race with next year with the little rascals and some of them, too. So we're looking to put it through the test on the racing circuit. All right, we'll be looking for more on that. I've had news already on the D motor, the BOT aircraft, the Renegade aircraft, a lot of what Doc is doing. You can find that and much more on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Sebring.